Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another one of my monthly guinea pig hauls. Hi! Hi buddy! So today I am joined by Waffles to film another one of my monthly guinea pig hauls. And if you guys have not had a chance to see my last one, you can watch it right over there. I will link the iCard to my August haul. And if you would like to see all of them, I will link a playlist down below in the description. But today is my September haul. So it is currently the 3rd of September and I already have so, so much stuff here to show you guys. So I'm super, super excited. And as always, I will try to link everything down below in the description in case you are interested in getting any of it for your own piggies. Um, but yeah, I have quite some exciting stuff here. A lot of this stuff was actually sent to me by you guys. So I did make an Amazon wish list at the end of last month. And I will link that down below if you guys are interested in supporting me and my content. There's absolutely no obligation at all to get me anything off the wish list. But I am going to try and open everything that everyone sends me off my wish list in my monthly hauls, which is pretty exciting. And um, it's all a surprise to me. So I have no idea what is in any of these uh, Amazon packages you guys have sent me. But I am really really excited to open them all and yeah I'm just going to get started with those. Waffles is right here he's being so cute I don't know if you guys can see him at the very edge. Hi! Hi baby! I feel like I'm gonna get so distracted having him right here as I film. Hello! But first off I have this package sent Oh my gosh, sent to me from you guys. Hi Ottoman pigs, I hope you enjoy the bridge and can't wait to see it in your cages. Love Marina, Axel, and August. Aw, thank you so much. I saw these and I've been so excited because they're these Bridges by Night Angel and they're huge. So thank you so, so much for getting this for me and the pigs. I think I'm going to maybe see if Waffles would like it. It has like so many fun shapes and it's plenty big enough for him. So I think I'm his cage clean is due today. So I think I'm gonna give him this. Do you think you'd like it? Yeah, do you want the bridge? He's thinking about it. <laughs> so thank you so much for sending this to me. I am absolutely sure that he is going to love it. All right, and then I have another Amazon package that someone sent me, so I'm gonna open this one up. All right, so someone sent me the Selective Natural Woodland Loops, which my guinea pigs are obsessed with. We love you from Lolly Pig and the Girls. Oh, thank you so much for sending these. My girls are obsessed with these. Thank you so, so much for sending them. I know they are going to love them. I break them up into little pieces to make them last longer because the girls are literally obsessed with these. So thank you so, so much for sending them. And then next up, I have yet another thing that someone sent me. Um, it's a box. It feels pretty light. I honestly, it's so nice to like be surprised because I have no idea what is in these when they arrive. Oh my goodness. I Where is, is there a gift receipt in here? I don't see a gift receipt. I want, thank you to whoever sent me this. Let me see. I can't find a gift receipt but it's this adorable little bed for them. It's so cute. I bet Honey would love this. This is like the perfect size for her. It's really, really adorable. I'll put it in her cage today. I'm sure she's going to love it. Thank you guys so much. I am trying to see if there's a gift receipt in here, but I don't see one. So thank you to whoever sent this to me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It's the perfect size for her too. Like I can just imagine her laying in there and I feel like my larger pigs could fit as well. I don't know if waffles can fit, but I feel like maybe marshmallow for sure because it is like, it's got a very large entrance and that's what she struggles with because she's so fluffy. And then there's something else in here too. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's all of the little Oxbow danglies. Thank you so much. There's three of them here. So I'm just gonna put one in each cage. Thank you so much to whoever sent me this. I wish you had left me a gift receipt so I could like thank you actually but thank you so much so i'm gonna put one in each cage and i'm sure the girls are going to love them and and waffles i'm sure waffles is going to love his too um so i used to saying the girls i have to start saying the pigs because now i have more than just girls thank you so much for sending me these i'm super super excited to put all the stuff in the cage today's cage cleaning day so they're all gonna get some super new and exciting stuff in their cage. So thank you so much for sending me this. And then I have something else here that someone sent me. So someone sent me the all free and clear detergent 
which is amazing. I use this to wash all of my guinea pig laundry and I have a lot of guinea pigs and a lot of laundry, so I'm going through it pretty quickly. Thank you so much for sending me this. It will definitely be uh, well used and I appreciate it so much, thank you. All right, and now we're gonna move on to some items for my guinea pigs that I bought myself. So I did buy some herbs from Small Pet Select because I had a coupon. So every month I get my auto ship order on Small Pet Select and so I collected quite a bit of rewards points. I was able to get a $20 off coupon, which is really exciting. So I went ahead and ordered them some herb blends. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those for you guys. All right, so I got, I believe three or four different kinds of herb blends. So I got Echinacea, which is supposed to be really good for, I believe, immune system and health support. So it says gorge variety and health support. And it's really good for bacteria infections, viruses, and it's even been shown to fight cancer, which that's actually, that's a pretty bold statement there, but this is gonna be a great herb mix for them. Um, I'm gonna like put it in with their hay or in their little forage balls. So it'll be not only really good for them, but also like really healthy for them. So try to get herb mixes that are not only treats, but have like good health properties for them. Hi boy. I know. I got the Flower Power Berry Boost. So let me see what it says it has in it. So it has lavender, rose petals, elderflowers, hibiscus, rose hips, and some other flowers that I cannot pronounce. But um, I think this is another good health booster for them. And they all have feeding instructions on how often and how much you can feed them. So that's great. And then the last kind that I got is the Vitalicious Essentials. So this one, yet again, is another, this one's more health related than the Flower Power one. This one is Total Care Broad Spectrum Nutrition Support. So this um, has like, uh, brings variety to their diet, gives them health support, nutritional support to help them fight off illnesses and just be generally healthy. So I'm super, super excited for this one as well. And I'm glad I'm gonna keep the storage and I'm gonna keep the feeding instructions somewhere so that I'll know how much to feed them because I'm gonna put them in these glass jars that I bought. So I'm gonna show you guys those. So I bought three of these really nice, tall mason glass jars from Marshall. So I'm gonna put um, their herbs in these jars and then I'll just keep the direct feeding directions somewhere so that I'll know which ones get fed how much. But I did buy these jars. So I'm gonna put the herbs in these jars and I'm super, super excited. I feel like it's gonna look so cute with all the jars and all the little herbs. And I'm really excited to have herbs because I haven't gotten like forages for them before. So I'm really excited. I'm just gonna put them in these little jars. I'm really struggling to get this box open, but this is something that I ordered myself. It's the Amazon's Basics Grids. Uh, you guys can see them here. They're the same grids as these ones, just in white. Um, they're 14 inches by 14 inches, and I bought them before, and I love them to make my CNC cages. So I went ahead and bought these so I would have enough to make the cages that I want, as well as have enough to make a large bonding playpen for whatever bonding decisions I make with my pigs. Um, I wanted to have enough grids to make them a playpen. So I bought these and I'll probably make Waffles Cage white grids because I don't like the black ones. So I'm probably gonna give his cage the white grids today. And that'll make sure that I have plenty of grids for my cage upgrades. But yeah, that is everything that I have gotten so far. Thank you to everyone who has sent me stuff. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And it means a lot to me. And I will see you guys probably in a bit with more stuff. All right, everyone, I am back to share with you guys a few more things that I have bought for my guinea pigs in September. So first of all, um, I got another guinea pig this month. So I got my six guinea pig sage. So I bought what I normally buy for all of my guinea pigs, which is just the KT glass water bottle and the little white bowls. So I bought that just because I normally like to have the same stuff for all of my pigs, make it very cohesive. And I love the KT glass water bottles. So I went ahead and bought that. And also since I've been getting more pigs, um, I've had to buy some hay in between my small pet select orders. So I did have to buy about total like a 
70 ounces of the um, the Oxbow Western Timothy Orchard Hay Blend. Um, I know this because I bought a 90 ounce bag and then I had to buy two more 40 ounce bags because I ran out of hay before my small pet select order arrived. And I have so many pigs that I just hadn't planned for it last auto ship, but I added more hay to this auto ship, which I have here with me. But first I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys what I bought from Petco. So I bought them more of their guinea pig pellets. This is the Oxbow Garden Select version. I feed this to all of my pigs, except for Honey, because she will only eat the essentials. But everybody else gets the garden version. This is a four pound bag. They didn't have an eight pound bag, so I went with the four pounds just so I would have something for now. And then as you guys know, you can probably see it behind me. I love buying these gray litter boxes for all of my pigs. I had one for Honey and I had one for Waffles, but I didn't have one for my main three girls. They were using something I'd made out of chloroplast, but they were constantly chewing on the edges of the chloroplast it was just becoming dingy and like so hard to clean. So I went ahead and bought them one of the gray litter boxes, except I bought the large size. So my two cages over here have the small size gray litter box, which is, I don't know how wide it is. I'm thinking maybe around 17 inches, but I bought the large size, which is around 24 inches and it fits perfectly in my Midwest. I love it. It literally fits so well. The exact width of the cage just slides right in there. It's got a little divot for them to hop in. It's amazing and I recommend this to anyone who has like a Midwest size cage where it's 24 inches on one side because this litter box fits perfectly. Like it's so great. Like I could not have asked for a better fitting litter box. So I definitely, definitely recommend if you have a Midwest and you've been looking for the perfect size litter box, the this litter box, the So Fresh small dog litter box in the size large um, is the perfect litter box. I will have it linked below um, on Amazon and is a little bit on the price your side, but I really like them. I think they're great. The material's great, super easy to clean out and wash and it fits perfectly. So I'm absolutely in love and I definitely recommend it. And then I also have my small pet select order here, which I'm gonna go ahead and open up for you guys. All right, so first off, I have a two pound box of orchard hay. This was the additional hay that I ordered because I have more pigs. But when I changed this, I had five pigs and now I have six pigs. So I may need to add even more hay for my small pet select order. Um, for those of you guys who have around six pigs, if you order from small pet select, please tell me how much hay you're ordering every month because I don't know how much to get. Um, I'm gaining pigs too fast to like know how much hay I need to be ordering. So if anyone has like a reference point for me, please let me know. But I added on two pounds of orchard hay instead of the 12 ounces I had been getting. So I had this little box right here. And then I also have here these tomato flakes. Um, I get these about every other month. It's a two ounce bag. It's just freeze dried or air dried uh, tomato flakes. My girls go nuts for these or, well, I guess I can't say my girls anymore um, since I have waffles and he's a boy. My pigs uh, go nuts for these. Um, they love them so much. Um, I hand feed them, put them in the hay, put them in little forage balls. So definitely recommend these. Um, so I went ahead and got this little bag. And then in my lap, um, I have my 10 pound box of Timothy hay that I've been getting every month. Like I said, I may need to make this bigger. The next size up is 20 pounds. So for those of you guys who have more pigs, let me know if you would use 20 pounds of hay within a month with six pigs. I don't know, I have no reference point. We're just buying hay. And and then buying more hay when we need more hay. Uh, but yeah, so that so far is everything that I've gotten. Um, I'm sure there's more coming in the future. I'm 100% sure because I have more packages on the way. But yeah, I will see you guys when that stuff arrives. And now I have a collection of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fleeces to share with you guys. I went a little bit crazy at Joann's. Um, they were having their Labor Day sale. So I bought five fleeces for their Labor Day sale. And then I went back to the store in person and bought two more fleeces. So I have seven fleeces here to share with you guys. So I'm just gonna get on those. So for the five I bought online, I bought three yards of each. So there is three yards of this nice lavender fabric. And then three yards of this, which is for my fall cages, just this orange, white, and brown plaid. Three yards of this brown. Um, it sort of just is to go with the fall, a more neutral fleece. So if I have like more exciting patterned hides and I'm just like I all my fleeces are patterned. I don't have any solid colored fleeces. So sometimes it's really hard to get my stuff to match because all of my hides have really intense patterns. So having the solid color fleece, I think will really help with my, like making my cages look more cohesive. 
And then I also have this very pretty, like I think it was maybe called champagne pink. Very pretty, very light pink. That is just super nice and that's gonna look nice in the cages. I haven't wicked these four yet, so that's certainly going to be a process. I have wicked this one, which is why it's just sort of out and not nicely, nicely folded. Um, but I also got this from Joann's when they were having their sale. Three yards of just this really fun geometric pattern. So this is nice, it matches the purple and it matches the pink I got, which is super nice. And the, in the orange plaid one, actually the brown is the same shade. Didn't do that on purpose. It just seems to work out really well that all the colors sort of seem to go together. And then I also got two more fleeces, like I said, in person. So I got this fleece, which I'm so excited about. I literally saw this fleece in the store and it was like $8 a yard, $9 a yard, more than I like to spend. Um, the other five that I got on their sale, I spent about $4 a yard on those. So that was pretty cheap. $9 a yard is definitely more than I typically like to spend, but um, I couldn't turn it down. So I only got two yards of this one just because it was more expensive. And then it's in the cage right now. So I'll show you guys a clip of the fleece in the cage, but it's this purple fleece that sort of goes with this one. It's got these moons and these stars on it. And that one was actually considered a scrap piece because it was like a little over a yard. I think it was like a yard and like 17 inches or something. So I got that piece of fabric for literally like four bucks. I couldn't turn that down. I'm gonna have to sort of play around with it to see what cages it can fit. So far I've only used it in Honey and Sage's cage there behind me and it fits okay because i just used the width of the fabric as the long side instead of using the yard since there was only three yards i used the width which is like usually 58 to 60 inches and that worked okay since i also have other stuff to cover the floor in that cage the lavender on here actually matches the plain lavender fleece i got which is super exciting and brings me to the next thing that I got, which is a sewing machine. So I don't know if any of you guys are subscribed to Alyssa from Alyssa and Pets um, here on YouTube, but I actually have been chatting with her a lot and she sent me her old sewing machine because she got a new one. So she sent me her old sewing machine and now I get to learn how to make my own fleece liners, which is super exciting because while my puppy pad with fleece on top method has been working for me okay, it's just so much laundry. Cause I have to wash the fleece, I have to wash the puppy pads, I have to wash all of their cozy hides. And in my new apartment, my washing machine can fit like one, like one, one of those three yard fleece blankets. I have to individually do separate washes to wick all of that fleece. So it's just so much laundry. I'm doing guinea pig laundry one to two times a day, all week long. So I'm definitely looking forward to sewing some of these fleeces into liners. I'm gonna have to buy some of those like U-Haul pads that they sell. Um, that's what people normally use to make fleece liners with. I do not know how to sew. Um, I'm a sewing machine. It is time to learn. And I'm so grateful that Alyssa sent me this. I'm actually really excited to get to sew these liners. And like, like I was saying, all of those colors, like the plain fleece colors match the patterns, which means I can make really good like front and back liners. Um, where like the back color matches the front. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna have to learn how to sew. So maybe I'll make some videos on my journey. I'm sure it's gonna be a struggle for me. I get frustrated very easily. I tried to sew once using my mom's like 30 year old sewing machine and I I gave up. So gonna have to power through with this one because I really wanna make some really cute fleece blankets and all of that. So yeah, excited to get to use this. And then my last package actually is the most exciting. So these are some fleece products sent to me by Fur Baby Fleece. Um, they messaged me on Instagram, but you can also find them on furbabyfleece.com. And they offered to send me some products here for my guinea pigs that I could review here in my monthly hauls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up what they sent me. I have no idea what they sent me. I told, I gave them some like ideas of like colors and themes that I normally like to do. But as far as the exact patterns go, I don't know. It's all a surprise. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this box. This box is literally the reason that I decided to film this today because I got home from class and this box was here and I was like, I want to open this so bad, but I need to do it on camera. So I got on my camera, filmed all the stuff, literally just so that I could open this box. So there's a lot in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start opening things up. She really went all out. This is so sweet. Oh, do you hear the pigs? I'm opening this plastic. I know, I know, I got so many, some, I am like literally so excited. Oh my gosh, guys. Look, she, oh, thank you so much. This is incredible. Oh, these are these little ties here that I accidentally just pulled out, but this is for, oh my gosh. 
This is for like, um, like a little cozy, but what am I, this is a fleece forest. I don't know what I'm struggling with. I'm just so in awe. This is a fleece forest. Um, I'm assuming it's probably like two CNC grids. And this actually is perfect because you can see, I told her I love this fabric because right here you can see waffles. He's he's ready for this stuff, but he has this little peach tunnel and I love this peach fabric. I'm obsessed with it. It's the only thing I own is that peach tunnel. He loves this tunnel. So I told her I like the peach fabric. That's all she had some and she made me this. This is incredible guys. I know they're just going to love this. I, I love this. She also made me this adorable little bed. Look at it. Ah, this is so cute. I've actually been seeing this fabric a lot on Etsy and I actually really liked it. Um, this is very well made. It's like really, really cushiony. The sides are super cushiony and you can see how well stitched it is on the bottom. It has like three or four rows of stitching to keep this in the right shape. So this is incredible. Thank you so much. And there's still more in here. Oh my gosh, guys, ah, look at this, look at this, oh my gosh, this is so nice, thank you so much, I am literally like speechless, you sent me such nice things and I'm so incredibly thankful, you guys should 100% check out Fur Baby Fleece on furbabyfleece.com because look at this stuff, this is like just feeling how thick this is, oh, I had it upside down. <laughs> that this makes more sense there's a pee pad in the bottom here and then i can literally just feel the quality in this like it's literally incredible the stitching is really well done um it's got like tons of stitches everywhere so it seems super secure and super well made and what i love about this one is that it has two entrances so a lot of times when i'm looking at these cubes on etsy i'll see that they only have one entrance and i'm like a lot of times you know my girls will trap each other or for when my or my newly bonded girls like i'm trying to give them only tunnels hides with two exits and i'm just trying to avoid buying more one entrance hides so the fact that this has two like a little tunnel but also they can sleep in it it's amazing this is so good i'm just i'm so happy and i'm sure the girls are absolutely going to love this she also sent me two of these little pee pads these are the same peach fabric that i said that i really loved um these are incredible these are some of the nicest pee pads i felt they're really really thick and i love that she used this lighter peach fleece on the back because it matches the peaches on the front matches the peaches on the back matches my fleece forest matches my cube everything matches so i'm definitely 100 percent gonna need to have to make a video with all of this stuff like a cage theme because it literally goes so well together and the last item she sent me it's a little tunnel here oh my gosh it's huge this is for i told her i was doing a fall theme cage so she sent me this fall pattern which is really good it's gonna go well with that other plaid fleece i have and also another little pee pad here with that fleece so this is really really cute all of this stuff is amazing amazing quality i'm literally so shocked by how much she sent me thank you so much i really really appreciate it this stuff is amazing definitely go check out her shop and i think that was a fantastic note to end on for my september haul um as always thank you guys so so much for watching all, all the items will be linked in the description down below if you are interested i appreciate your support and i hope you enjoyed please leave a like if you did and subscribe to see more of my monthly hauls and hopefully a cage theme with all of this amazing stuff that she sent me thank you guys so much and I will see you again next week with another video. Bye-bye.